what's going on YouTube and welcome back to another comic book haul video featuring me, the comic jabroni. Ooh, yeah. So, a uh, little story before I show you the books that I got. Last week, I was on a blood drive mission down south here in Georgia in a town called Warner Robins, Georgia, right? Warner Robins in the state of Georgia. And one of the first things I always do when I go to a new town, I go to a new city, is I look for comic book shops. And sure enough, Warner Robins has one, one comic book store, and it is called Heroes and Villains of Warner Robins. So I was in Warner Robins for two days, and on the first day that we got there, uh, I was able to catch a ride over to the store, and I had about an hour and a half, uh, more closer to an hour and 15 minutes to really look around the store. And, and qu to be quite honest with you, it was an awesome store. Pretty decent size store. Uh, they had a lot of comics, but they also had tabletop games. It's kind of like every comic shop that I go to anywhere I am in the US, right? They're always, it's always the same thing. And then they got statues and trades and the tabletop games, like I said, and just a bunch of badass stuff. I love going to brand new comic shops. So what I'm gonna do in this video before we get into the books that I picked up in the store, I'm gonna actually show you a video of the inside of the store because I talked to the owner of the store and I wish I had gotten his name because that was the one thing that we did not talk about. I did not get this gentleman's name and I, oh, I even looked at the card that he gave me and I didn't see it on there and I totally apologize because this dude was awesome. This guy was incredible and out of the hour and 15 minutes that I spent in there, him and I, we talked for almost all of it because for that whole time, it was almost just him and I the whole time. You'll see in this video that there were a couple others in there, but for about 45 minutes to 50 minutes of this hour and 15, it was just him and I, we were talking it up, talking about comics, talking about the state of new comic book day going right now because DC had just, this was a week ago, so DC had kind of just come out, rolled out with their, you know, death to diamond distribution letter. So we talked about that and we just had a great time talking about comics and he hooked it up with some awesome prices on these books. I found some great stuff. So I'm going to show you the inside of that store and we'll get back to the comic book haul. So as you can tell, man, I'm walking up, I go inside, and he has his store set up a little differently than I am used to, right? Um, almost always when I go into a shop, I always see like the back issues, and they're always just like A through Z, and it doesn't matter if it's Silver Age to Bronze Age to Modern Age, it's always in all of those boxes, but this guy had it differently, and I'm gonna tell you the absolute truth, is I like this way better, because there are some of us that look for Silver Age or Bronze Age or Modern Age. So as you could tell in those videos, he had up against the windows all Modern Age books in those back issues. But then up against, uh, up towards the center of the store, he had other long boxes or they were medium short boxes. They were short boxes. And he had Silver Age and Bronze Age in those. So I thought that was 
ingenious. I've never actually seen a store do that before, but I thought it was really cool. I really like that Silver Surfer that he has right there in the middle of his store. The guy was awesome again, I want to tell you. Um, I forgot, man, I don't have the guy's name and I apologize for that, but I do want to say thank you to this gentleman. I am going to send him the link to this video because he said he was going to post it on his Facebook page so that his uh, Facebook followers or subscribers, you know, come and watch it. That's an awesome store. And for all of you out there in the Warner Robins area, definitely go check out Heroes and Villains of Warner Robins. And if you're ever in that area, definitely go check it out because it's really close to Macon, Georgia. I think it's about 20 minutes, 30 minutes away from Macon, which is a little bit bigger of a town. But what is in Warner Robins is an Air Force base. And that's why we're there for a blood drive. Let's go to the comic book store over there. So enough of that. Let's get into the books. We're going to start off with Ninja Turtle stuff. And then we're going to transition over to DC. I don't think I got any Marvel, but let's get going. All right, so these first three are Turtle books. And the first one is Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles issue number 14. I grabbed this because, number one, it's a Turtles. But it's like an homage to The Untouchables, right? The movie The Untouchables. Uh, and this one up here says The Unmentionable. So I really, really like that cover right there. Next up, you guys always know I'm looking for first appearances of, of characters, key characters in the Ninja Turtle universe. And the first one I found there was Tales of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, issue number four. This right here is the first appearance of the Rat King, guys. If you guys remember the cartoon from back in, you know, the late 80s, 90s, Rat King played a huge, major role, right, on that cartoon. I remember having the figure, and I still got the figure at home. And then the last one I got that is Turtles is Tales of the TMNT, Tales of the Ninja Turtles, issue number six. Now, this is my second copy of this, um, the second one that I've actually gotten here in Georgia. But this is the first appearance of Leatherhead, and this is actually a better copy of this book than I originally had, so that's awesome to be able to get some turtle books, but I will tell you this, while we were talking, I was looking through his books, and I said, man, there's there's no turtles, you guys, you, you got any Ninja Turtle books? He said, oh yeah, I got them, I got them behind the counter, because I was waiting for somebody to come in to look at them, but if you want to take a look through them, you're, you're more than welcome to, and my eyes, my eyes did this, I said, oh, okay, so I start flipping through and there's amazing stuff in there, but it's it's stuff that I didn't really need because I'd already had, um, but I did see this. What? There's a Ninja Turtles number one, a Ninja Turtles number two, but sadly, it was a third print of number one and a second print of number two, and that's not what I needed, guys. If it was a second print of number one, guys, I would have I would have gone crazy. But that, nevertheless, awesome store. He had a few copies of that Raphael number one, which is the first appearance of Casey Jones. I didn't need another copy of that because I'd already had one. Although thinking back, I probably should have picked it up because they were a decent price. But again, picked up some awesome turtle stuff. Let's get into DC. So as you guys know, I'm always looking for DC Universe logo books. That's one of the first things that I look for, especially when I'm going through Batman and Detective Comics. And I found one. I found Detective Comics 675 DC Universe logo. This is probably like my second or third copy of this particular book with the DC Universe logo, but I'm always on the hunt. I don't care. Multiple copies of them. I'll take them all day long. Next up, I picked up issue 648 of Detective Comics. The next book up is a book that picked up a lot of heat. I've talked about it in the past because I picked it up at a really great price before, but this one was also a really great price, and that is Batman issue 475 for four dollars. First appearance of Renee Montoya. Now this book has died down a little bit because the Birds of Prey movie wasn't as good as people thought it was gonna be, but Renee Montoya was in that movie, and because of that, this book kind of spiked. Now, I don't know if it's still a $20 book like it was before, uh, but for four bucks, first appearance of Renee Montoya, I'm taking it all day. Next up, guys, from the New 52, when I saw these books in the, the Batman section and at the price, I couldn't believe it because this is one that I, I see consistently going for that $15 to $20, and both of these I found for five bucks a piece, and that is Batman issue 21 and I was able to get two 
copies of that. And this is the first appearance of Duke Thomas, right? He is kind of like the, he's the newest member of the Bat family. He goes by Signal, right? He's actually the only member of the Bat family that has powers and he patrols more during the day. So I was super, uh, super excited about that. Wow, two copies. So this is, I'm, I'm always on the hunt for these Duke Thomas, right? And especially now, we're going to talk just a tad a bit of speculation, especially now with Miles Morales' first appearance, just Spiking, right? Ultimate Fallout 4. And I talked about this book a year and a half, almost two years ago. I'm going to put that right there. So if you think I'm a liar, no, I'm not. Guys, this might be the perfect opportunity to get this first appearance of Duke Thomas because we do not know if this is a character that will ever show up in anything. And if you're finding it for $5, pick it up. Next book up, as you can see in that video, he had wall books, right? And there was one book there that I kept, ooh, ooh. It's not one that I see often. I'm, I'm a Joker fan. I'm always trying to pick up Joker books. And it was $15, uh, but I'm okay with that because these Bronze Age Joker titles are a little bit harder to come by. So I was happy to find that. And it is Joker issue number nine, and it has Catwoman on the cover. So at 15 bucks, man, and it's a newsstand, which doesn't mean too much being that it's a Bronze Age book, newsstands in the Bronze Age was like a dime a dozen. So happy to get that. I'm always down to pick up a Joker book, especially to, to fill in that Bronze Age first Joker series. You know, always got to get it. And the last book that I got, this is a 12 center. It's a Silver Rage book, and it's the second appearance of a character that we have yet to see in any type of DC movie or TV show or anything like that. I might be wrong. Let me know down in the comments below. But this is the Brave and the Bold issue 58, and it is the second appearance of Metamorpho. Pick that one up from him, and it is in, you know, pretty good shape, I have to say. I absolutely loved the way this cover looked. And, um, you know, I don't know much about Metamorpho, but when I saw this in the short box, it kind of it jumped out to me. And I looked on the Key Comic Collector app, and it is not the first appearance. The first appearance is the issue right before this, 57. But second appearances aren't anything to just sneeze at. And especially for characters that were introduced in the Silver Age, right? The first appearance is the issue before this. The second appearance, especially the issue right after, is nothing to just go, eh, I don't want that book. I'm going to take it all day. If you don't want it, let me know in the comment. Brony will take it. So, yep, that is what I picked up from Heroes and Villains in Warner Robins, Georgia. Such a great place, guys. If you are ever, like I said, if you're ever in that area, definitely go hit it up. Go check out the stuff that the guys got there. He was such an incredible person to just talk to. Thank you so much for, you know, making me feel welcomed and, and just talking, shooting the shit with me for an hour and a half. Next time I'm in Warner Robins, because we do that mission like every three or four months. Next time I'm in town, I'm definitely going back to that store, picking up some more stuff. What did you guys think of this little mall, this little mall, this little hall? Uh, nothing crazy, crazy, but you know, hey, it's always good to go to a new store in a new town that you've never been to and support that local comic shop, guys. So, hey, thanks for watching the video. I'm Edwin, the Comic Jabroni. This is your first time watching. Definitely think about hitting that subscribe button and joining the hashtag Comic Jabroni Nation, guys. Having such a great time here in Georgia. Let me know if you're close by to Augusta. You want to hang out. You want to go comic book shop hunting. You want to go. You want to go hunting and digging for some books, huh? None of this auction stuff. But let's go hunting and digging. Let me know, guys. But hey, take it easy. Thanks for watching. Check out the other videos on my channel because I'm dropping all sorts of craziness, huh? And uh, I'll see you next time. <laughs> it's Peace. over nine thousand.